Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes when we have a data set that are all integers and then we calculate the average value, the first quartile, the third quartile, and we end up with a decimal place, it kind of falls out of place. It's kind of it's hard to talk about a data set that has nothing but integers and then the average being something like 21.3 as an example in the data set that we have here. So rather than just using the decimal place, we can just chop off the decimal point and simply, re simply report just the integer portion of that number. And that's called the integer value of that particular data point or that particular calculated value. So in case of calculating the mean or the average, it is indeed 21.3, but the integer value of that is 21. And quite often, it's simply much easier and much simpler to use the integer value of, for example, the average of a data set, especially when the whole data set is reported in the integer values to begin with. The same with the first quartile and the third quartile. If you use a method where the quartile is right in between 14 and 15 due to its location, and then we take the average value of those two numbers being 14.5, and the same for the first quartile, it's better typically to talk about the integer value of the first quartile or the integer value of the third quartile and simply get rid of the 0.5 and report it as 14 and 28. There's so little difference between 14 and 14.5 and 28 and 28.5 that we really don't need to mention that 0.5. And so simplifying things can be obtained by simply taking the integer value of these numbers. The symbol we use is the brackets and that is what it looks like, and it makes a lot of sense.